Hi everybody, this is Viala again, and I am doing another video for you guys today, and it's going to be a little drama review on a Korean drama that just finished airing probably about a month ago or so, a month and a half ago, and it is on the very popular Korean drama, Bridal Mask, or Gak Sital in Korean. It is a historical, action-based melodrama. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys, like, the... Let me look it up right now because <laughs> I didn't pull it up. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Um, this is the poster for the Korean drama. That's the main lead, Ju Won, which I who which <laughs> who I entirely love as an actor. Like I said, historical action melodrama. It's a Seguk fusion of um, which I'm going to talk about what era it is a little bit later. But uh, from South Korea, it just aired 2012, probably like a month and a half ago, like I said. Um, it's starring Ju Won, um, Jin Se Won, Se no, Jin Se Yeon, that's her name, sorry, um, Park Ki Wong, Han Che Ya, and uh, Shin Hyun Jun. And um, a little bit of a plot summary on this Korean drama. It's based on a popular manga in Korea, and it takes place in 1930s colonial era where Japan has actually occupied um, the Korean Peninsula. And the story follows uh, about a man named Lee Kang Do, who's played by Ju Won, who um, became a Japanese police officer and betrays his country because of his poverty and he wants to provide for his mom and his brother. Um, a masked man uh, with a traditional bridal mask, which you know you guys are actually going to see more in the motive and the Korean drama and in the posters, he fights for independence and Tragedy and redemption ensues and starts when Lee Kang To is actually tasked to hunt down Gak Si Tal, who turns out to be his own brother. Um, actually, in the story, uh, his brother, played by Shin Hyun Jun, who is an amazing Korean actor, um, he uh, is an independence fighter and he uh, pretends to be a dumb person, somebody who's lost his mind, who's, you know, um, mentally incapable character. I think that's the political correct word for that, but um, because he is still fighting as Gaxital, a masked, uh, he's pretty much a Robin Hood character. Um, Juwon actually, once he finds out, um, it's gonna be a spoiler, but once he finds out that he, um, his brother is Gaxital, there's a lot of drama there and a lot of heartache. Um, Park Ki Wong plays. Um, Shunji, who is actually Lee Kang Tung's best friend, he is Japanese, but he's sympathetic to the Korean cause. Um, my review on this Korean drama, it is intense, it's epic. It, it's just one of those Korean dramas that when you watch it, you're just like so um, engrossed and you're so invested to that world. And it's, you know, 1930s Korea is not actually an era which is commonly explored in Korean dramas. Often it's very Seguk, like the Goryeo Joseon dynasty you know, where they're wearing this very traditional king and queen garb. And 1930s, where it's a little bit modern, but not entirely, uh, and especially during the Japanese occupation, it's not something that's very well explored in Korean dramas. It's more explored during um, Korean films uh, as a theme, but not in Korean dramas, not that much of I've seen in the recent years. So it's it stands out in that um, way that you're just totally engrossed and you know you you feel yourself being in that era and it's you know it's a one-way set um what they show on the drama and you're just like you know it's very typical of those old time um almost old time american films where it's just one set and they're like playing about in that one um street that goes through and is supposed to um pertain as the city uh juan is this actor who actually you guys might know from um, Baker Kim Ta Kim Ta Koo Kim Ta he's a Baker King. Um, he is quickly becoming one of the rising um, dramatic and comedic actors in Korea. Uh, he is very well acclaimed and he's getting a lot of like dramas that are putting him as lead. But this is actually I believe his first lead role and he totally kills it. Uh, you can see throughout his transformation as this Japanese, you know, aligning officer to a hero, totally believable. And every time he cries, you're just like sobbing right there with him. Um, his main lead, uh, female lead, is Jin Seon, and she's 
you know, supposed to be this kick-ass female character, but doesn't really play through throughout the series, which I was kind of sad with. I wanted a strong female character to complement the strong male character, the strong male lead, but it didn't really happen. Um, but she's, you know, she's okay. She's pretty decent in the role as Moktan. Um, like I said, Park Ki Wong uh, plays Shunji, who is a... Uh, in the beginning is a Japanese who's teaching Korean kids. Uh, eventually he does become the villain of the story and much of the plot plays through how Juwon's character Kangto and Sunji Kiwon's character actually, you know, transform into a good, you know, from you know, Sunji's character a good person to a bad person, and from Juwon from a bad character to a better person to a hero character. So, and it plays through a lot of their bromance and a lot of their best friendship and how that ruins because of the politics and the occupation of Japan and Korea fighting for its independence. Uh, it also stars Shin Hyun Jun, who actually I already talked about, amazing actor. Um, I'm actually watching him right now in Ula La Couple and there's a lot of jobs there in that comedy um, to Bridal Mask Oxita, so you guys can watch that. It's currently airing right now. Um, and also Han Chea, who plays, um, what's her name? Ri. Um, she is a Korean who got adopted by a Japanese um, mafia lord who pretty much denounces her Korean roots because of something tragic and awful that happens to her in the beginning of her life. So those those are the main um, characters of the world that is Bridal Mask. There's a lot of side characters that you're gonna learn to love just because they really fill up the screen and they you know they have characters of their own. Um, what I would really like to say about this Korean drama is that the execution was almost flawless. Um, there's a lot of um, there's a few episodes that kind of is dragging towards the end, but for the most part, you end up actually being, you know, too invested in this drama, and you're, you just tell yourself, you know, what's going to happen, he's going to, you know, it, what I'm saying is that, is he going to die towards the end, is he going to spur this, you know, fight for Korean independence, or, you know, is he going to be, you know, is he going to fail, like, is he not going to inspire um, the independence movement, and there's a lot of different independence fighters that they show up throughout the um throughout the drama and you feel very like just into them like i've said that multiple times in this video but you know you just become you know you you feel like you're in there with them fighting for independence from these japanese which actually they're not entirely painted as evil or the villains of the story there's a lot of japanese characters like abe who is a fellow japanese officer that's kind of best buds with Gangto who is just adorable. He's very nice. He's not like, you know, the kind of Japanese, you know, in the world of that story that, you know, you you want to hate because he is adorable and he's very friendly and he he's not like in that painted in that villain kind of um, portrayal. So there's a lot of different characters that you feel for and um, like I said, it's a very epic wide span um, production and you know you you just feel that while you're watching this Korean drama um, I thoroughly recommend it and I actually recommend two other um, Korean dramas a while um, that was released a while back probably about like five or six years ago one is Capital Scandal which actually deals with almost the same um, I believe it's the later years of the 30s but it's about the same era of um, Korea and also Fashion 70s which is actually a little bit more about fashion in that uh, in the 70s, but it actually plays through a lot of that, you know, from the 30s to the 70s era of Korea, where they're a little bit more influenced by westernized um, ideals, um, and they're not wearing their traditional Korean garb anymore, but also trying to keep that sh um, ideals and beliefs as a Korean person. So from that span of 30s, the 1930s to 1970s. So those two Korean dramas are actually very similar in that vein. Um, of the themes to this Korean drama. I gave this Korean drama a 4 out of 5. I actually would want to give it a 5, but there were some scenes, some um, torture scenes that were very effective in the story, but there were, you know, it's hard to watch, pretty much. Um, and I'm a person who deals with a lot of blood and um, gory stuff just because of my profession as a healthcare professional, but there was a lot that I was just like, oh my god, these torture scenes are like too much. Um, but it's a 4. Four out of five. Um, 
like I said, a very good Korean drama to watch. It might not be a good Korean drama to start off with because you need to kind of know a little bit about um, the history of Korea and uh, a little bit of the backdrop. But, you know, it's a good watch. Um, if And it's a lot of action for you guys out there who would want to watch Korean drama on this type of era. Um, you know, it's, it's a good watch. You know, there's a lot of action, a lot of kicking, a lot of, like, pretty much... Uh, a lot of fun for male viewers as well and of course there's eye candy in terms of Park Ki-wong and Juwon for the girls there out there so um, watch this Korean drama and I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>